constitute a date. <laughs> oh, I put an ad in the other realm? Even though Sabrina's black cat was bewitched and mischievous, not all black pets mean bad luck, despite what many people think. In fact, most of these dark furry creatures couldn't be sweeter. And the Athens Animal Control is trying to prove that. On the time of Halloween, traditionally people used to hide their black pets because they always thought they would be used for rituals and sacrifices and, and so on. But we've come to understand that that's not the case at all. And so what we try and do now is use Halloween as a time to really promote our black animals. So the last 13 days of October, Athens Animal Control and the Athens Area Humane Society are teaming up in a blackout. They're moving their black animals to the front of the kennels, featuring a dark furred friend as pet of the week, and showing off the black beauties first to the people who come looking. What we're encouraging people to do is just not look over the black pets, but consider them as well, um, you know, on equal terms with everybody else. Tara here is featured as the pet of the week. And as you can see, she defies all of the superstitions that pets with her color coat have. Christina Bradley is looking to adopt a cat. She says she'd definitely consider a black one. I actually like black cats. I think they look prettier, but um, it's just a, Gene, just a pigment. It doesn't change the cat or anything. Katie McCandless has a black lab, and she says her dog's fur doesn't bother her one bit. Honestly, I like don't even think about it. Like he's just a dog to me. He's like the most loving dog I've ever had. He's just like loves to be around people and wants to be where we are. Even though the reason these animals get overlooked remains a mystery, there's no doubt they have a lot of love to give. In Athens, I'm Christy Etheridge for UGA News Source. Oh, <laughs>